Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. So I'm going to talk today about the army system and how you can actually raise an army in Rome 2 Total War, how it's going to work, um, and just sort of a bit of a discussion really. Uh, so feel free to leave your comments in the section below. Um, yeah. So there is actually going to be a limit on the number of armies you can have, and this is based on the amount of power you have. And this is going to be similar to the fame system that they had in Shogun 2. The maximum number of units you can have in any one army is 20, um, and naval armies will work in a very similar way to land armies with regards to the type of uh, the leveling system and traditions, which I'll talk about in my next video. So you raise an army from any settlement, uh, but to do so you must appoint a general. So after you've appointed the general, you can add individual units. So there's full customization on the type of units you can put in. Uh, you can make it a, a sort of siege type army, or you can really focus on heavy infantry. But during the training of the units, the army enters a stance called muster mode, which basically means that your army can't move um, during the training of the units. So you have to wait there, obviously, while your units are trained. You can also name the army um, and design the banner, which uh, makes it really cool. And also combined with the tradition system, you can really, really customize your army and uh, tailor it to the style that you want to, to fight. So you can then obviously move your army around. And if you're still in friendly territory, um, you can then still train more units. So your army will re-enter the muster mode. Um, or the muster stance, and units will then be trained and they will auto automatically appear in the army. So you won't see them walking from the settlement, uh, they will just automatically appear. So this, I guess, kind of reflects the whole sort of refined system that they're trying to bring in with Rome 2. They're trying to refine all the sort of micromanagement stuff and make it, make it a lot easier, I guess. But if you're in enemy territory, you can't recruit your own units, you have to recruit mercenaries if you want to recruit any. Um, so these help sometimes, you know, if you're, if you're about to fight an army and you realise their army is a lot bigger than yours, you can sort of add mercenaries to really... Uh, buff up your army, make it a bit bigger. And the type of mercenary units will also differ depending on which province you're actually in. The mercenaries will, however, require uh, quite a large upkeep that you have to keep paying every turn. So they're more of a short-term fix than a kind of long-term plan. It's also interesting that some of the factions that I've spoken about, um, if you've watched some of my previous videos, some of them actually specifically mention that they focus on mercenary training um, and they sort of rely on that quite a bit. So maybe for those factions, we'll see maybe a sort of discounted cost for mercenary training, um, something, something along those lines, I reckon. So that was just a sort of quick overview of how you're going to end up raising an army in Rome 2 Total War. Um, I'm pretty excited for this game now. It's We haven't got too long to wait. Uh, and I'm going to be bringing out a lot more videos, just sort of discussing, giving you news on other Rome 2 info. Um, so if you want to hear more from me, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, go ahead and like if you enjoy the video. Um, and comment as well. Uh, I really sort of want to hear what you think uh, and what you are wishing for in Rome 2. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next time.